Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nova Meister here, coming at you with a new episode of The Lord of the Rings Return of the King, and today I'm going to be doing the Southern Gate, so let's get going. Now, I almost couldn't play this anymore, and I almost had to take a trip to Kex and buy another one for £1.50, because I lost my disc, but I finally managed to find it. Um, and let's get into the cutscene. Yeah, I was worried. I would have had to have spent my £1.50 at KX. I can't believe, really, that you can pick up this game for, like, £1.50, but when you remember back in the day, you were begging your parents to get it because it was so expensive and it was such a must-have. And uh, now you now now it's a choice between two pickled eggs from the chip shop next door or the Lord of the Rings Return of the King. And to be honest, it was a hard choice because I do love my pickled eggs. Controversial, but I do love them. Not many people share my love of pickled eggs, but anyway, let's get into it. Now this mission was definitely one of my favourites, because it was the ultimate hack and slash one. Uh, it was the ultimate just kill loads and loads of little orcs. Uh, it's the one that's best for grinding as well, just because you can kill as many orcs as you want in this first bit, um, before you want to move on. So I will try and get through as many as I can. Um, and I've got to take out that troll as well, he becomes really annoying. I think you can just take him out with the spears, but... Hang on, what are you doing? Why is it that Orokai's always want to attack, but the Orcs that I can actually Orc Bane never want to attack? Come on, I love being Legolas with this. So cool. Come on, go there. That perfect. Nice. Uh, yeah, this mission was... It was quite interesting, actually, this mission, that they decided to put something like this in. I'm glad they did, but it doesn't really make sense, because... Um, hold on. Let me see if I can just beast these orcs. There we go. I do love doing that orbane. Something addictive about it. It's more addictive than any other thing in any other game, I think. It's just this, uh, that orbane. Um, but yeah. It's interesting they chose to put this level in. I'm glad they did because of how fun it is and how much of a hack and slash mission it is, which is what I love about this game, like, most, in my opinion. It is the, the combat and just going through all the little guys. But... It's interesting they put it in because obviously this is meant to be a uh, depiction of how they got into Gondor or how they got into Minas Tirith or the Pelennor Fields for the big battle. Uh, and it's well, the first thing that's interesting is this obviously doesn't make sense because they would just use the Army of the Dead to go through here and then into the Pelennor Fields. But if you remember in the film, if you guys haven't watched the Extended Edition, they come out in boats. And uh, the story behind that is they, uh, hold on, I need to, I can't multitask, I need to take out these Oryx. Um, let's see if I can get rid of this troll as well. Oh, I remember that attack, I haven't used that attack yet, we'll try and, we'll try and use that attack more. But yeah, they came, they came into the Pelennor Fields on, off boats, which they, um, they captured off of the pirates. Now, they're not called pirates, they're called uh, Corsairs of Umbar, but, um... Yeah, the basic they basically are like pirates, and they're bad guys that are under Sauron's control. And uh, they came off on boats and attacked. So obviously this wouldn't happen because they were they they never went through the southern gate. They you know went through the river. And oh my god, I need to take out that troll, but I need health. Normally when I say the word health, it gives me health. So go on, give it me, give it me. There we go. Ah, oh, lovely, beautiful. Oh, did I not even pick that health up? No, good. Alright, I can't be wasting health. Um, but yeah, in the extended edition, it was quite interesting because... Oh yeah, more health, good. It was really interesting because you actually got to see how they captured the the boats off the Corsairs. And the way they did that was, it was quite funny. They had obviously had the army of the dead with them. And Aragorn had complete control over them. And he said to... He said to Legolas, well, he said to the Corsairs first, you know, get get off the boat, we're seizing your boat. Uh, and they were like, uh, okay. And then he said to Legolas, oh, fire a warning shot past the boatman's ear. And Gimli had other ideas, because he's a fucking nutter. So he, he budged Legolas as he took the shot and actually hit the guy in the chest and killed him. And, uh, oh, hang on, I've killed a troll up there, I didn't even see him. Okay. Uh, and yeah, so he hits the boatman, and then the boatman starts going, you know, you and what army is going to take this boat? And then Aragorn just says in an absolute corny Hollywood way, this army, and then the army of the dead appears and just completely dominates them all. 
But that's just like an extended edition only, so... Uh, I definitely recommend you guys get an extended edition if you haven't already. It just has to be done. It can't not be done, it's just too good. Any any good Lord of the Rings fan, or anyone that really likes it, just get the extended edition. You're missing out on so much. You're missing out on Gandalf fighting the Witch King. You're missing out on, you know, a lot of stuff. Uh, what... I would suggest you guys watching as well if you do like Lord of the Rings, which I'm guessing you do if you're if you're on air. Is if you haven't seen this already, there is actually an alternate ending for the film, and the reason why they didn't use it is because Peter Jackson did want to stay close to the books and he didn't want to cause too much controversy and you know create a film that wasn't fair on the books. But there is a scene on YouTube where they were actually going to use the ending of Oh my God, I'm so going to die here. I need to sort this out. Yes, health. Um, they were going to use the ending of, oh my god, uh, Sauron fighting Aragorn instead of the troll. You know when uh, the mouth of Sauron comes, and that's actually who they used in the end to depict Sauron. Uh, but when Aragorn fights the cave troll, all those uh, camera angles and stuff like that, and the fighting between that, the troll was added in afterwards, but it was actually going to be him fighting Sauron, which is pretty cool uh, that he was going to fight, he was going to fight Aragorn. Um, and although it would have been annoying because it wouldn't have made sense to the book, uh, it is worth a watch just because it is quite cool to think that that was going to happen in the film. Um, so yeah, definitely go watch that. I'll, if I can find the, the link to the YouTube, uh, the YouTube video, I'll stick it in the description of this video. If not, then it's, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, go on, go on, attack me. Attack me, Orc. Oh, I've remembered I've got to try and do that more. My god, look, this is a really great grinder map and getting your level up and stuff um, for Legolas. And it is good to just try and get to the, the highest level as possible. But I am stuck here and I can't even get out and actually do the mission. I'll give me that health and then I might be able to. Alright, there we go. So I think that troll's still alive. Is that troll still alive? No, I think he's dead. Good. Has that thing gone down yet? I don't really know what to do. I think I've still got to take down a couple of catapults, but I can't actually see them. Right, a bit more fighting to do. I guess I'm not going to moan too much. Okay. Get a perfect gone. Hopefully I can actually get a perfect this, this game. Although I doubt it, because I, I keep forgetting to do that LTRT move. That's such a cool move. I want to learn how to use that more. Oh, no! No, 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 no. No. My God, look. I've spent like seven minutes. Um, hang on. Let's get this control back on. I've spent like eight minutes just going around killing all. That's how cool this game is. And I'll get some electric, extra electric damage. All right. I will try and actually do this mission, guys, now. I'm trying my hardest, I promise. Is it that one? That one's already been fired. Not really understanding what I'm supposed to do now. Normally the, the wall collapses after shooting down two, but... I don't know. Oh, I missed my arrow. Legolas never misses arrows. That's just a lie. Okay, that one's been shot. So which one hasn't been shot? Okay, this one. Right, we'll shoot this one then. Please leave me alone. It was fun for the first four minutes or so, but now I need to do the need to do the mission. Well, the good news is, guys, is no matter what, Legolas is going to be over leveled more than anything. So uh, that's that's good, I guess. And some of you guys were actually uh, asking for longer episodes, so here we go. This one should be quite long. And uh, I'd also like to say just thank you to everyone that's also been, you know, supportive in the comment section and saying how they like the series and how they want it to carry on. It, it does help me, mo uh, help motivate me to make these episodes and I, I do appreciate the feedback. And I should be able to get up there sooner or later. Okay, right, that's it. I'm ignoring. Ignoring. Bye-bye. Talk to the Anne because the face ain't listening. I don't care. Stay away. Bye-bye. Yep, who are you running after? See you later. Oh, oh, cheeky. Yep, bye-bye. All right, there we go. Okay. Right, I got 29 arrows as well, so hopefully, if I remember, there was a troll up here, so I can just shoot all these arrows at him and it should be fine. I actually hurt him with the, uh, the catapult thing, I think, as well, so it's all good. Oh, okay, not that much, though. 
I think I can kick that ladder down if I remember. Like, because in the two towers, that was basically what you had to do uh, on the last mission of Helm's Deep, which is actually one of the best missions, like, ever. Uh, the last one on the two towers. Can I kick that down? I think I kicked it down. Oh, okay. So we've got an Oliforn or a Muma kill. Uh, it goes by like two names. Most people just call it an elephant. But yeah, Oliforn or a Muma kill. And the the main change they did with this from the, the films to the, the, the old school books is uh, Oliforns used to uh, only be able to get killed by shooting it in the eye. Uh, it was completely armoured apart from its eye region, which was... Um, which was vulnerable. And there we go. Take out the three shields and then take them out. Lovely. See, that went too hard. If it was that easy, then, you know, what are they complained about? Okay. I'll take down that wheel now. I think that opens the gate and then lets me go through. Uh, it's quite interesting as well because Smog has that same thing. He's only got, like, a really small, small weakness who is the dragon, which is the main bad guy. And, uh... The person Bilbo tries to steal from in The Hobbit, which is gonna come out soon. Film Hobbit gonna come out soon. I'll actually start talking about like my uh, opinion of The Hobbit and how how I'm looking forward to that in a Third Age walkthrough uh, part. I'm actually giving Third Age a little bit uh, more of a break than the Return of the King ones. I'm trying to get all these done before I proper concentrate on the uh, Third Age one. But I will be talking about my my Hobbit ex Hobbit expectations in that one. But yeah, Small basically has this little weak spot in his chest, near his heart, I think. Because uh, he lies down on uh, his treasure that he stole off the dwarves all day. And uh, I won't spoil it for you, but he's just got that small little weakness. And that's the only way he can die. And I've opened the gate, so that should be me able to go. That was a longish episode. I thought it would be longer, actually. I think that's it, though. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Well, we got to get over there, and they're in our way. But I think i just got to go back down there and run through. Don't see we, it being too difficult from here. Oh, oh no, wait. No, I can kill them through that, that as well. There we go, I'm burning them all alive. I wish I could see that. That'd be so cool. Oh, I can keep doing that. Oh, I can see it now as well. Oh, yeah, I'm getting so much kills doing that. Right, I, th I think I've gone overkill on the burn in the orcs. <laughs> right, let's go down here. I don't think I'm going to get my perfect after all, because I keep forgetting that LTRT move. Uh, which just gets your momentum meter up really quickly. Oh, no. I thought I burnt you all alive. Jesus, wept. Fuck, I oh, know. Right, there we go. LT and RT move. There we go. Instant perfect. Off we go. Epic music. And off we go. I think the music in this game is just one of the best things ever. Um, and in the film as well. It was produced by someone called Howard Shaw. And he got some other people to do like singing and stuff. Like Annie Lennox at the end of uh, Into the West or something like that. But the soundtrack's so amazing. Sometimes I think, of, uh, think back of you know to scenes in uh, in the movie and think what would they be like if if there was no music especially some of the ones with sam yeah i got my perfect uh at sam and emotional moments and stuff and it just wouldn't be it wouldn't be the same without the music the music adds so much to it but let's see what i can buy look at all that experience and all that leveling i just did through that one thing uh, it's pretty amazing killing zone increase the amount of time during combat that you remain in perfect mode Okay, that's cool. Um, I'm not sure if I'll buy that for everyone, but I'll buy that for... Oh, I should have bought it for everyone, you know. Oh, well. I'll live. Let's see if Elrond's Rage. More devastating. Oh, fire instead of thingy. Uh, AYAA. A series of quick power strikes that will take down one or more unshielded enemies. Oh, go on then. I've got enough money to burn. Galadriel's gift, that increased my health a bit more, I think. Oh, damage and reach perfect mode even faster. Oh, that's the L and R. Bane of Sauron, parry, then instantly kill and attack an Uruk. Yes, we'll buy that for everyone. And has he not got... Oh, Lothlorien arrows. Yep, you can have that. And is there any more I can buy? 
I can buy a strength of iron. What's that? Permanently increase your health. Uh, y, Y, B, Y. Uh, which one should I get, guys? I think I've just got to increase my health. It's just simple, isn't it? Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. And I'll just save the game. Um, I'm definitely going to be uploading this series, you know, uh, once every other day at least. And with the third age, I'll still be uploading one a week. But until this finishes, I'll try and keep uh, this one the priority. Uh, but yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this. And as always... Thank you very much and good night.